salutatorian, Mr. Brendan Jackson. Yeah! Yeah! Before I get started, I think that this moment deserves a picture from where I'm standing. So if everyone would say cheese on three, one, two, three. <laughs> Awesome. Orange blind security cards. If you want a copy, just call me after the speech. <laughs> Good evening, family, friends, teachers, dignified guests, and most importantly, to the class of 2011! Four years ago, I walked onto this campus nine inches shorter, 50 times more sheltered, and a hundred times more ignorant than I am today. There is no doubt that Orange Glen formed my malleable mind, shaped me into the person standing behind this podium this evening. Yet over these past four years, I've constantly been asked why I came to this school. So I think this is the perfect venue to clear some common misconceptions and reveal some hidden wonders of Orange Glen front of some pretty important policymakers. If I was walking across the stage tonight to receive my diploma from that other school three miles down Bear Valley Parkway, I would never have been taught by Mr. Godaboo my freshman year Algebra two teacher, who masterfully instilled in me the importance of mathematics while still making his class interesting and enjoyable, only to be cruelly pink-slipped because of budget woes. I would never have been able to spend two years in room 309 being taught by the wizardly Miss Dooley. She sure left her mark on me as a chemistry and calculus teacher, and even a more tangible mark on, on her classroom with the perpetuating smell of her microwavable dinners. A scent that still lingers one year after she opted for a well-deserved retirement. I would never have learned from Miss Dickens, Miss Fields, or Miss Richards. The terrific trio of English teachers who were vital in the development of my writing and analytical skills. I have developed a unique relationship with all three of them, and I cannot thank each of them enough for appreciating, appreciating and even sympathizing with my sarcastic sense of humor. I would never have been able to learn from the extraordinary social science teachers of Orange Glen, ranging from Mr. Meyer, whose quirky whose quirky yet serious passion for history initiated my love for the subject matter, to Mr. Sobical, who taught me, who taught me to not only accept, but openly profess my Irish heritage. <laughs> to Mr. Brown, who's who so consistently provided an outlet to discuss current events in AP psychology. <laughs> and of course, to the 2011 District Teacher of the Year and soon to be National Teacher of the Year, Miss Franklin. <laughs> who so passionately facilitated my interest in public policy and understanding of American government. I would never have been able to show who really is the more intellectually superior school by bringing home by bringing home wow, Mr. Lot of Williams to ruin it again. Listen to this. <laughs> <laughs> I would never have been able to show who really is the more intellectually superior school by bringing home the Escondido Scrabblethon High School Championship three years in a row. And of course, if it weren't for Orange Blend, I would have never spent two years of my high school career wandering under Wonderland with Alice, teaching Simba the circle of life, ditching school with Ferris Bueller, fighting with pirates in the Caribbean, 
all while perfecting my Spanish numbers and colors in room 403. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, nobody in this crowd. I would never have been able to write my superintendent and school board on multiple occasions to warn them of their open district transfer policy that so quietly and indirectly facilitates institutionalized prejudice. Great comment. These are just a sliver of all of the experiences that have made these past four years invaluable. But what made my time here at Orange Glen the most spectacular was, of course, the class of 2011! The class of 1-1 is a class of firsts. We were one of the first to survive three different principles. We are the first and most successful class as a part of the MAP program. We were the class that initiated the ABC after school activities. And we are a class made up of several students who have defied socioeconomic disadvantages and are the first in their families to attend college. On a more personal note, from screaming my head off with Lucy and Yolanda and the rowdy crowd under the Friday night lights, to being a part of the Sony Star class with Hannah, Chris, and the ten other finalists, to our lunchtime hangouts in room 406 with Eddie, Carlos, Annabelle, and the rest of the gang, to embracing my inner nerd for four years on the NCAL team, to spending four years on the golf team, learning from the inimitable Coach Garduño, and hanging out and hanging out with Wayne, Ryan, and Mike. And of course, through the Muskin and Student Senate, serving as the student body's lone political muckraker and fact checker of our oh-so-transparent administration. These are the memories that I will cherish forever. These are the facets of Orange Glen that should define our success over the past four years. The class of 2011 success should not be marked by how many A's are reflected on our transcripts, or by what color graduation gown we're each wearing tonight, or even my title, or the well-deserved valedictory honors that my fellow academic counterpart, Kevin Wynn, worked so diligently to earn who I would like to thank for sharpening my competitive edge and indirectly pushing me to achieve at my highest potential. Rather, the class of 2011 success should be... The class of 2011... Our class's success should be marked by the effort we exerted, the lessons we have learned, the maturity we have developed, relationships we have cultivated. The legendary basketball and life coach, John Wooden, epitomized the definition of success by saying, success comes from knowing that you did your best to achieve or to become the best. God, I sound like George Bush. I screwed this up. <laughs> success comes from knowing that you did your best to become the best that you are capable of becoming. So for those of you who graduating from high school this evening and entering the workforce tomorrow morning, let me be the first to wish you good luck. Please strive to apply the memories, the experiences, and the lessons you have garnered at Orange Glen in and out of the classroom to all of your future endeavors. For those of you who will be pursuing higher education, whether it be just down the street in Palomar or as far away as Middlebury College in Vermont, Remember the lessons you have learned, the maturity you have developed, the relationships you have cultivated, the effort you have exerted. Use your four years at Orange Glen as a sturdy base for your endless potential. Use the highlights of high school as a paradigm for success at the next level, but never forget the lowlights, for they will prevent you from repeating history. Escondido may mean the hidden valley, Maybe just a pinprick on the world map. My hope for the class of 2011. 
is we don't leave our successes, our accomplishments, our talents, and our attributions hidden to the rest of the world. Thank you, and congratulations, class of 2011.